one. These are what I want you to prepare. This is the new uh, oil filter. So I want you to zoom into the model. It says for Mercedes. These are the content. This is a new filter and a new washer. You always use a new washer. This is a new washer for the drain plug. Don't reuse the drain plug washer. So you need that. You also will need to have the Mobile One oil for European car, 0W40. Okay? You need two gallon, not one, because you're going to use more likely one gallon and a half. This is number eight, because Mercedes is a European car, so it uses eight millimeter. Okay? You will use this. Without saying, you need the catcher and the funnel to dispose of the old oil. Now, I'm going to share with you the hardest part in changing the oil for the ML350 2013. The hardest part is to remove the cover. So the cover is right here, and it has six plugs right here, one right here. You can zoom in to this one. My finger is pointing at it. Well, gonna, this is one. I'm going to go directly under it. Right. Now you have an identical bolt right over here. Unbolt the ones in the back first and work out toward the front so that the cover won't fall in your face. The cover sits like that up in the chassis. And they have one bolt right there, one bolt right here. One bolt right here, one bolt right here, one bolt right here, one bolt right here, and one bolt right here, and one bolt right here. So you have eight bolts together, four on each side, four, and another four, another set of four, that side. And uh, entirely symmetrical. Just to clarify, this is towards the back of the vehicle. And right. This we is are standing the at the front. I'm standing at the front of the car. And this is going to be up in the chassis. The oil pan is right here. Very easy to see. Right here. The oil pan is right here. There's a lot of room to work on. And we just simply unscrew this bolt to drain out the oil. Okay. So if you are going to zoom out from this location so the, the viewer can see the orientation of where it is. You know that I'm going to use the 13 right here. You can zoom in to see the 13 millimeter. Okay. And I have an extension bar. Cheater bar. To make it easier, you can put it here. here. All right, and now with the extension bar, it's very easy to open. Okay, that's it. It's loose right now. I'll put this thing out of the way and get my uh, catcher. I'll get my catcher. You will have to make sure that when it's filled, it's gonna shoot out. So the right way to do that is to give the room for, put it at the right angle so that when you open this one, the catcher is going to be right underneath with room to shoot because it's going to shoot out forcefully. Okay, make sure that you get the washer out as well. Sometimes, there we go, you see the shoot, the arc is so far that if you didn't get it over here, it's going to shoot on the floor and it's going to be all over the place. And this is a good time to wear gloves too. Right. Why don't you show us your hand, Dad? Right here. Right here. You can see that without the gloves, your hand will be all over. And look, I am holding on to this one. Um, remember, the ML350 has almost two gallons of oil in it, so it's going to take a while. And the catcher has to accommodate that. You know, the last thing you want is for the catcher to be over full and spill all over the floor. And you will have to lie on it in order to work on the car. 
Now, before we move on, this is, I think this is a good time to work on some economics. If you take this car out to the dealership, they will charge you about $350 to change the oil. And you can see how easy it is to change the oil. This very nice oil filter is about $15. This, this one gallon of mobile oil, 0W40, is about $25. Now, where did you get that oil, Dad? Um, the oil I bought at Walmart and the filter is online on eBay. Make sure that you know who you're dealing with so that you can get the one that with the white color and not the old cardboard color. That is not a good one. So together you have 50, about $65 and your labor. But you have the joy of working on your car instead of 350. So when, before we go any further, I want to show you the location of the oil filter. So why the car is, the oil is draining, I want to show you that the oil filter is underneath of this cover. So the first thing to do is to um, get this, uh, this cover out of the way. So you simply lift, you see, it's only a lift with the clip in there. So, so I have no fear and I will show you the clip. All they have is that this clip, this clip, this clip, this clip, and this clip. So you have about four or five clips. Make sure you bend the clip back. See, this clip is being pulled too much far out. It's supposed to be like that, to click in. It's supposed to be the stopper right there, not fang out like that. So this is, it has to look like this, okay? So this is a healthy clip. Healthy clip has it downward looking, not putting up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five clip. And these are just stands. So that, put it aside. The oil filter is right here. So it's so easy. And the way the direction is drained downward, you will never have oil spill when you open it because it already drained down to the bottom. Some car has it up, which has all the old oil, and that is more troublesome. So this one, I just use a uh, filter wrench to open it. This is a set of the oil, oil filter wrench that I bought at Harbor Freights for about 10 bucks for four of them. And so they have all kinds of sizes. And the size for the Mercedes-Benz is this one. It has 74 to 76 millimeters. Okay, so now it's loose. So that is the time that you can start spinning it by hand. Okay, carefully move it up and out of the way. It will drip a little, so immediately turn it up. So you can see the filter is right here. And you can see right here that there are wires around this area. You see, the plug right here, the wires right here, the plug right here. So it's very dangerous to pull them off the sockets or to drop something inside the pan of the oil filter. First of all, we need to remove this thing. So just bang it out. But the hard part is to remove the filter from the, the, the container. See, it's stuck down here. And I will show you what's being stuck. The filter has to fit in this one. So it's napped in to the pole inside this thing. I have found the easiest way to get it out is with a screwdriver. So to pry it out, all you have to do is to get the screwdriver. Is that a flathead? It, it could be a flathead, it's better, but it, I'm too lazy, so I put it in. And this way I destroy the old filter, but since I don't use it anymore, there we go, it snapped out of it. You can see this is the old filter. It snapped into here, and you can see that there's a pole inside. That looks like a black hole. Yeah, the black hole inside. There you go. You can see it now. Right? So, so you need to clean it up thoroughly inside. Just use some paper towels. Pretty self-explanatory. So, because we have the new washer, we want to make sure that we change that as well, even though it's not mandatory. 
Uh, better yet, use all the new ones. So this is a, the old one. Okay, we take it out of the way and make sure that it's going to fit in to the old one, uh, to the to the groove of to replace the old one. It's just like a rubber band, so now it fits in perfectly. Okay, it has a groove. So right there. The next thing is to snap this guy in place. Okay, drop it in. Okay, now it's scrolling, right? We have to snap it in evenly. You hear a click. There we go. Boom. Make sure that it's still spinning, right? All right, so now it's ready to go back in. But we need to clean the pan where the receiver for this filter as well. So we need to make sure that we clean it decently. Okay. Make sure you don't, instead of cleaning it, you don't want to drop yeah, anything into it. Okay, yeah, just stick your paper towel in there, clean it up. Pretend your mom's here to look at you, okay? And make sure you don't drop any paper in there because you want to clean it, you don't want to litter it. Okay, so this is right, quite clean. If you do this for your car every single time, it's going to be real clean and shiny as if new. Just use some common sense, okay? Right. We're not saying anything new here. Okay, so we are going to stick it in. Make sure you don't damage this head. Okay. Okay. Tighten it down. Tighten it by hand and then use a rand to give it a quarter turn. This oil drain plug doesn't need a washer because you can see the angle. So when you tighten it, the angle is going to seal it. You don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to put it back in. Okay. As I put it back in, I am going to clean it up. Make sure that all the drip is all clean so that the oil pan is going to look like new and doesn't have dirt. So now I'm going to hand my dad the plate so he can reinstall it um, the exact opposite way of how he uh, removed it earlier. So he has eight bolts and he's going to reinstall them with the impact driver. If you don't have one, it's not a big deal. I'm going to put back in the, um, the cover so I'm going to put the front first and uh, the trick is not to put it in too hard because you might have to wiggle it later. So this is just to hold it in place so that you can wiggle the rest in. So that's one side. I'm going to do it in order. So this is another on the other side. Okay, and then I am going to not skip the middle because I need it to wiggle the back in place. So the back has to be in place. Oh, give me the bike. So you're gonna do the back, put them in loosely, put in the middle ones loosely, and then tighten them all down once all screws are in place. Okay, in order for this cover to slip under this cover, you might need it to loosen two, uh, four bolts, okay. two on each side. Take your hand off the bolt. This is one bolt. Okay. And then this is another bolt. You need to shine the light on it to see. Okay, well, they're going to understand. Yep. So there are four bolts, one, two, and the other side had two. Oh, you yeah. loosen There's them. There's one right there. You loosen them so that you can snap this under. Because if you don't snap this under, then you cannot uh, bolt this over here. And now my dad is lowering the jack. Okay. And then the and next the step. Already. The next step is to fill, do not forget to fill the oil. This is the filler cap for the oil. It has, the, obviously, it has the oil symbol. What I would suggest is that you clean it first because if you don't want the dirt to fall in when you are trying to open it. So um, you can see there's much dirt there and then you can try to open it and it shouldn't be too hard, okay? It just twist in. So you will fill it over there. Okay, so the reason why the two people need it is because the funnel doesn't have room to fit in. So it's going to sit like that. So somebody's going to have to give you a hand wow, look. to hold on There's to it. A hand. Right? And why somebody else is pouring in. Otherwise, you have oil all over the car. And you don't want oil all over the car. 
and this is only the first gallon. I can pour all of all of the gallon in. And you can see that the oil dipstick is right here in orange. It's way in here. So it, it's, it, and it's long and it's twisted. So you make sure that you pull it out in, not in a hurry and not touching anything. Right now, the way that Mercedes designed it, it will be dry and you won't see any oil at all. But when you stick it back in, you will see the new oil and it's not gonna be near enough. So make sure that you have a chair to stand on because way in here, and it's gonna twist as it goes inside. Let it twist the way it wanted to. Okay, all the way in, pull it out, and start reading it. I will show you. So we have it not nearly enough. It's not even here, but we have to go up to here. So I'm going to start pour, uh, pouring in the second gallon. Okay. So when you pour, you pour in the second gallon, you want to make sure you slow down and watch your, where you're going because the way the funnel doesn't fit in the, uh, uh, properly um, because there's something in there that prevents it from going any farther that the oil, if you pour in too fast, it is going to flow up right here. So we are gonna have to be slowing down, slowly. So after putting in about a gallon and a half, I started to put the oil dip stick in to measure it again, just to make sure I don't have too much. So let's see where we are. As you can see, it's perfect. It's, you can see the wetness up to the max. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's get some light on this. See? The Start. shininess will show you where it is. So where does it go to the top of? You can't see it too Right much. here. Oh, perfect. You can see the shininess up to here. You see the, 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 the arrow right here? There. There we go. Fit. Lock. That's it. It's a fit lock, not a twisting. Okay, so we are going to try to fit this back in the same way it came from. And uh, there are four clips. You can see that the clip fit in because it fits in. And then you snap it in. There we go. Perfectly, just by tapping. And then to check, you try to shake it so that you can, you know, it's lightly. You don't shake the whole car. But now you can see that it fits in perfectly. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.